All right, uh, joining uh, me today is a good friend, uh, Jim Wing. You might uh, recognize the name. He's been on here before. Uh, we've talked about his uh, a couple Kickstarters that he's been running, and also his uh, Margo Intergalactic Trash Collector uh, series, which he does. But uh, so today we're going to be talking about another Kickstarter that he's uh, working with as part of the. Um, Fantico Enterprises. Uh, it's called Gorgo Attacks. So let's go ahead and bring him in and let's find out about the, uh, the series. How's it going, Jim? Good. How are you, Chad? Surviving well, I haven't the snow? Seen... <laughs> yeah. Well I, well, I haven't seen you since, uh, you know, we haven't been having uh, conventions. Yeah, that's been, a, been bad. It's been home conventions for me, you know. <laughs> <laughs> it's on Zoom here, talking to this yeah. one, talking to that one, uh, just staying in. The cold is settled in. The polar vortex is broken, so we're in the middle of a freeze right through the country. Yeah. Uh, I think it's supposed to start on later this afternoon. Yeah. So I'm doing a Kickstarter now for um, Joe Sinet and uh, Joe Gill, Vince Col Coletta's uh, 1962 run of uh, Gorgo Attacks. Okay, so uh, tell us a little bit about the project and um, kind of the ins I, well. Tell us, yeah, just tell us about the project and you know maybe the inspiration and you know the I guess original inspiration. It looks mm -hmm. like it's something that's already been you know printed once before. Oh yeah, it's a, it's a Charlton run that the, the three did um, when Joe Sinet was first starting out. He uh, he was freelancing, and uh, Vince Coletta had a studio, and Vince was known for being able to pump out the books if books were behind a deadline. Looks like, uh, from what I can find out at the time, I think uh, Ditko had left, and I think he was going. He was doing freelance over at Marvel. I like to think he was creating Spider-Man at the time. <laughs> so Coletta's studio got contracted, and they, a young upstart over there named uh, Joe Sinet was working with uh, Vince Coletta, and Vince Coletta was known. To I think we dropped there. Are you there? Can you hear me? Can you hear me now? He's back. I can hear you now, <laughs> yes. Well, that, that's why I record in <laughs> private. So, not, so if I need B, I can always uh, go through and edit. Right. Okay. I don't know where we, where we split up. So you were talking about Steve Ditko. Uh, going yeah, I, Steve Ditko had had left um, around six, at that time at sixty two, late sixty one. I uh, was doing work over on probably on Spider Man and Doctor Strange coming up. Uh, over at Marvel. So, uh, yeah, the Coletta studio filled in, and um, Joe Sinet, young Joe Sinet, was doing freelance work for Vince Coletta. So they, they did six issues, seven issues, uh, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, and Ditko came back for one issue, 11, and then they did issue 12. And so um, you've met Joe a few times, and he's a great guy. You know, he uh, died last year um, in his 90s and was drawing right up until the time he died and becoming friends with the family they they showed some interest in getting these books out uh, apparently joe had always wanted to get these books out and um his son mark uh t we talked about uh finally getting these books together and you know they're hard to find and joe had copies of them so we uh we got together and we worked out something where we could uh, do the whole run okay so um so it's a little bit because it sounds like it's a one of the like a kaiju Godzilla type 
monsters. <laughs> Well, I, I like to I like to call it Baby Gorgo because it's like one of the original movies where there was a baby. Because if you if you're not familiar with the Gorgo movie, spoilers here, spoilers, spoilers. Gorgo movie, the big plot reveal at the end was the giant monster was just a baby, and the mother monster comes to save him. So Gorgo was the original baby monster, Baby Gorgo, and so a lot of the story. And it's 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 a lot of cheesy fun. You know, Gorgo gets taken on by the communists. He fights the Red Chinese. Uh, the American Navy takes on Gorgo and uh, Baby Gorgo, and they space monsters invade Earth, and they think Gorgo's you know the dominant species. So Gorgo frightens off the aliens, and a whole bunch of real good cheese stories. That Joe Gill did. And Joe Gill would pump these stories out for uh, Charlton back in the day. And a lot of these guys were uncredited. Uh, nobody's credited. But, I mean, you can tell certain, uh, you know, Joe Gill stories are recognizable. Also, uh, Vince Coletta, obviously, his inking is pretty recognizable, too. So um, let's talk about the Kickstarter now. It's, uh, mm -hmm. as we were talking before we started, it's a um, kind of shorter one uh, in time. Was there a yeah, plan behind that? It, yeah, it's, uh, you know, all Kickstarter sort of, the 30-day Kickstarters have this sort of dead zone right in the middle where nothing happens. And so uh, I decided to experiment, cut that out, and see if I could just do 10 days, 10 days. And um, so as you see, we're down to nine days. We're up to almost $5,000, so we're pretty much close to 90% funded. Um, and we have a little video here that we put together with some surf music, <laughs> and uh, which you could play, I suppose, right? I could try. Yeah, uh, let's see. You know what? Maybe I'll edit it in. <laughs> oh, there it goes. The music isn't playing though, but you can see the video. So this, so this, you see so this was, mm -hmm. so this was art by Joe. Yeah, art by pencils by Joe, uh, inks by Vince Coletta, and yeah, based on scripts by Joe Gill. Okay, and so, uh, what was it? I think you may have already said it, but what was it about this project that made you want to bring it to readers in in this new format? Well, I've always been a big fan of Joe Sinet's work since the early 60s. I grew up as a kid reading FF books in the 60s uh, into the 70s, into my teens. And, um, you know, Joe became the Marvel style after Kirby left, uh, basically on the FF and, and Thor for a, a number of years. And um, ultimately just carrying the Marvel style into the future. So Joe, after meeting Joe and being such a nice guy, I mean, it's such a professional. I just became such a fan. And to uh, get this work out, I, I feel really honored to be able to do it, you know, to bring it out to a public. And, um, you know, there's some of the panels are pretty funny. There's a couple of where uh, they, obviously there's a Ditko influence. I think they were told, you know, make it look like Ditko, make it look like Ditko's. And there's obviously other panels where it doesn't at all. And there's this, there's a swimming panel that we just flashed by that they always come back to in each one of the books too. It's like Gorgo's always swimming like this with baby Gorgo behind him. I'm like, geez, it's just thrown from a different position, but it's kind of the same, same camera angle all the time, which is fun, you know? I mean, a lot of these guys were do you know, they were trying to put bread on the fan, on the table. They weren't worried about, you know, getting a Harvey or an Eisner award. They were just, you know, churning out comic books because that was what was, you know, that's what sold in the day. Kids were buying them. And they would turn them out Very as fast nice. as they could. And then we also so, uh, got, got to, uh, yeah, go ahead. So, sorry, I interrupted you. <laughs> no, uh, we also have a hardcover, which has a Basil Gogos uh, image used from uh, Famous Monsters. So we mm -hmm. licensed that uh, painting to use for the hardcover from his estate. As you may know, I did that uh, Monster Art of Basil Gogos about a year or two ago. And so I've maintained some, uh, you know, um, licensing through Fanico, or Fanico has maintained some licensing for images through the Gogos estate. So 
Uh, one of the things I wanted to do was uh, being a fan of famous monsters as a kid and uh, particularly Basil Gogo. So I wanted to be able to bring that Gorgo image because a lot of that, you know, as everybody knows, Basil Gogo has always made the movies look better than they really were. You know, so uh, particularly I think, well, Gorgo was pretty good, but he did make it look, you know, much better than the actual movie. So um, I wanted to bring that 60s iconic image together with uh, Joe's work on the series, too. So what uh, are you offering for people who want to support the project? What am I asking people to do to support it? No, no. What are you offering? Oh, we're offering. Uh, well, we have a soft cover, regular edition. We have the hard cover. Uh, Joe Sinet drew some um, images, 2011, 2006, of uh, Gorgo, with the intention of that someday there was going to be uh, a collection of this. So we've assorted that. Uh, we're going to do prints of that. We also have. Um, up on the site, we have some of the uh, some art by Joe Sinet, uh, Joe Sabak, uh, written by Stan Lee from the uh, Daily Strips, and so we're uh, signed by Stan Lee. We're we're offering some of those. The uh, the Sinet family has donated some of those to the Kickstarter campaign, so to help get the uh, book funded. So we're selling we're selling some of those in packages. We also have a couple of Avengers pages that. Uh, the families donated to that we put up for the for different levels. So there's an original art section, and then we have the book section. We also have one of the uh, covers that Joe did as an exclusive that only be offered on the Kickstarter. It won't be this one here that you're seeing on the on the uh, left. Will be only be done for the Kickstarter. There won't be any other editions of that. So we're only printing a small print run on that, and then. Um, to the right is the standard edition cover, which is basically, uh, I think, issue six. Uh, I took out the logo and put in the Gorgo Attacks logo. A lot of these were designed where they had a lot of title space on them for the uh, issues. And so, uh -huh. yeah. And then, uh, as you see below, there's the Gorgo Attacks. And then we're offering up a hardcover of both artists. Um, series that we recently did. And then here's the prints that Joe did. Gorgo looks kind of rat like. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. Sorry. I was, I was just, yeah. I wasn't laughing at the art. I was laughing at the fact that it looks rat like. No. <laughs> it does. It looks rat like. Um, it does, yeah. So we, we integrated some of that artwork in. And um, as you see, you're coming up to the pages. There were um, we have some of the strips that were the Spider-Man strip that was done in the newspaper mm -hmm. and signed by the three contributors. We also have these collectible. If you look at the left hand side, the Stanley Media, we have the envelopes that the uh, were addressed to Joe Sinet with Stan Lee's uh, logo on them. It's sort of like a huh? you know, sort of like in the old days, you would collect the uh, no. Um, no prize. Yeah. No prize. So we have those to go along with the original art packages. We'll be sending out with those too. So that's kind of fun. Very nice. Um, so uh, what are you personally working on? Are you, have you been working on any of your uh, series that you've, uh, you know, we've talked about? Yeah, I have. I have. I have an anthology that is going to be uh, coming out. Uh, late summer, uh, we'll be announcing it probably next month. Uh, there's a couple of artists I'm working with, um, a couple local, uh, Keith Hagen's going to have a story. Uh, there's a story by, uh, Matt Belskis, uh, short story. And then I'm, I have a series that I'm going to preview, um, a series that I started back in the eighties with Fanico called Lady Dracula. And so I'm sort of, uh, it was done at the uh, height of the uh, uh, sort of the R-rated books. So we're, I'm sort of reclaiming the character and we're re redoing the series and we're launching it in this anthology, which is going to be called Shriek. It'll be, it'll be probably come out in August. Also, uh, we're, we're working with uh, Neil Hannon and uh, uh, Rick, um, Rick, uh, Oh, 
wait, hold on. My Siri's talking to me here. It thinks I'm talking to the, <laughs> I'm talking to my own computer. It's 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 writing everything I say down. No, no. Um, Rick Rawling and uh, Noel Hannon, who did uh, some of the Night of Living Dead series back in the '80s, uh, were were talking about them. They're going to have a uh, a story in here. So we're, we've got a bunch of artists. It's probably going to be a collection, probably 42, 48 to 56 pages um, color. And uh, so we're putting that out. So my hopes are to launch that and uh, use it as a launching site for short stories and other series that I want to do. Eventually, I have another Margo written. I'm going to get back to that after, after the series. And... Um, uh, two or three issues of that will be will I'll be doing. So uh we have a pretty full play moving along, you know. Yeah. We're doing uh, well, another printing uh, of a printing of uh of um Basil Go Ghost monster book, but this time we're doing a uh calendar, monster calendar for 2022. So I'll be working on that. And then obviously I'm gonna be laying out the uh uh, Gorgo Attacks book, which I, I did all the scans for. Very nice. Well, you know, uh, you're welcome to come back anytime that you want to talk about any of those projects that you're uh, working on. Maybe, sure. maybe when you have the anthology, we can uh, get the other, get mad and uh, keep them too. And kind sure. of see, because it's been a while since I've talked to them too, too since, well. <laughs> yeah, I think we're gonna. I'm gonna uh, launch a Facebook page for this, and uh, we'll have some dialogue around the artwork and some preview artwork. Also, I'm working with uh, a girl from Brazil who was one of Marcelo's students, and uh, she's very, you know, Marcelo Trom, who I worked with. Very stuff. Her style is very similar to his. She was one of his students, and so she's doing a piece in the book also. And uh, we're also talking to her about uh, possibly continuing that series a little bit, maybe uh, possibly doing another issue or two. So hopefully that'll that'll uh, probably c come to uh, formation later in the year, probably. So, how did that kick but, start, how did that Kickstarter end up? That ended up great. We did, uh, let's see, I have a book here. Yeah, Bad Girls. Um, we're still selling books uh, online, doing pretty well with them. The Kickstarter was great. We did. We raised uh, six thousand um, dollars. I was able to send some money out to Marcelo's family. Uh, you know, um, his wife and uh, his five-year-old son uh, obviously were involved in the project. And if you're familiar with that, you know that I was splitting everything that I could with them. So, um, yeah, the book made him a couple thousand dollars, and it did pretty well. So I was happy with that. And they got books and we're selling books and, you know, trying to keep his memory out there and his work out there. And, oh, uh, you know, it seems to it get, it's a very popular series and I'm hoping that I can do justice to it if I uh, continue it along. And I'm also thinking of doing a collected of the three issues uh, later this year and probably a collected book of Margo too. So there's a bunch of stuff that's in the works. Well, before we uh, end here, if you if you'd like to give uh, one one final pitch for the uh, Kickstarter that you're currently doing, then uh, you know we can uh, do that, and we'll uh, and where people can uh, I'll be sure to include the the link, in the, you know, the show notes, and when I post mm -hmm. it. So yeah, yeah just Gorgo uh, Gor 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 attacks, um, fun book. Uh, Cold War classic Cold War stories, kind of crazy. Uh, kind of uh, goofy monster attacks, baby Gorgo and his mother attack uh, Japan and the rest of the world and fight off the aliens. And uh, classic work by um, Joe Sinet, Joe Gill, and Vince Coletta, uh, worth collecting. Also, the um, the first edition, uh, well, there was, in, I guess in 2013, there was a, a collection of Gorgo uh, Dicko books by uh, Craig Yo, And so those this kind of complements that because this is after he left so it would collect the books that weren't Ditko um, for the for the this particular set of artists. Uh, so there's my pitch. Buy it. <laughs> and, <laughs> and people can check out uh, your your active with uh, 
promoting Kickstarters on the, in the IndieWire group, which is great. Yeah, we have the IndieWire group. If you're a creator, you have a Kickstarter, go there. If you're looking for Kickstarters that are cool, um, I go handpick the Kickstarters that are up there. Uh, if, if you know of one, let me know. Or if you have one, you want to join the group uh, and post your Kickstarters, go ahead. Um, you know, that's what it was created for, a promotion. Um, I try not to pr promote any X-rated stuff. Uh, some of the stuff you go to the sites can be a little risque, and that's up to you. But, I, I, you know, we try to keep the site as clean as possible. No politics, you know. Um, so it's comic books only, Kickstarters only, promotion only. Um, well, if, if yeah. there's no politics, I'm not going back. Well, then, you know. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Well, we'll uh, see you on the, we'll see you on the other pages then. All right. <laughs> All right. Well, thank you for taking the time to, uh, you know, talk with us. And it was great to catch up with you. And uh, we will be able yeah. to you know, touch base in person sometime in the well, near we'll future. Catch up again. We'll catch up again on here if we don't, hopefully. Yeah. And uh, we'll, we'll talk, to you, talk to you hopefully after uh, next project. All right. All right, well, good luck with the Gorgo, and uh, everybody should check it out. All, All right. right. Have a Thank good day, Jim. Take Bye. It easy.